Okay, I've got just something super quick to show you, and this is super economical. Quite often fish markets, you'll see piles of these collars or part bellies or fish wings. These are from a harp hooker and snapper. Snapper wings and collars, just like so. Um, cheap as chips. We quite often have them at Fresh Catch, so look out for them. If they're there, there won't be many of them there, so grab them. I tell you, they're just such good value, and it's the tastiest part of the fish. I'll show you what you're going to do with them. You can throw these on the barbecue. I'm going to roast them in the oven. Just cut off the, the fins as such, just with some kitchen shears. You know, you can leave the fins on if you want. I like to trim them off. Just makes them slightly easier. We've normally thrown this away. It's ironic because it's, it's beautiful. Look, there's a big fillet in here. And there's no small bones, and it's all against the collarbone, so the flavour that you're going to get out of this fish, and it's going to be super, super moist. But I'm going to throw a little bit of a spice mix over them. I've got some cumin, some toasted cumin seeds. So, a bit of cumin seeds. I've got some Korean chilli flakes, so a bit of spice. These aren't particularly hot, but they are going to add a bit of kick. And then my sumac. What have I done? About a tablespoon of each. What else do I need in there? I need a bit of salt. And that's my spice mix. Simple as that. I mean, you could use fennel, you could go down the curry route, you could use smoked paprika. I mean, it's really limitless. You know, what do you have in the cupboard is the main thing. And then it's just about thinking about it and throwing it together. So I'm just going to toss this through the wings. I'm going to roast this just on a roasting tray. But the first thing I'm going to do is put the roasting tray in the oven and get it hot for a couple of minutes. Then I'm going to oil it and then throw these on there. So we just want to work the spices through. We're going to put a bit of lemon zest in there as well. But this sort of thing to have as a, as a bit of an appetizer or well, for things, you know, for something for people to chew on while they're waiting for the, the main event. It's really impressive. And, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, it's always like a, I've always sort of thought this sort of eating with your hands and everyone getting into it. It just, it's just fun. It's just, you know, just makes perfect sense. And it kind of reiterates how good we are at informality and how we don't mind getting our hands dirty and picking up bones and having a bit of a chew. But that is that. Look at that, ready to go. I mean, five minutes was it? No more than that. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to that, a little bit of oil to this. Toss again, and then just gonna roast these guys. I'm thinking, 200 degrees, 10, 15 minutes tops. I can't see anything. How do they look? <laughs> oh, the fog's lifted. Look at these. Oh my Lord. Yum, 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 yum. You know what they remind me of? They remind me of chicken thighs. Look at these. Beautiful. Boom, boom. Now we put some olive oil on. Not just any olive oil. Oh, that's my olive oil. It's the Al Brown lemon and fennel olive oil. You've got to pour this over everything. It's delicious. Oh, 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 stop it. Some lemons on the side. We'll give it a bit of a squeeze. Look at that. I mean, doesn't that just look amazing? Just look at this. You just pick it up and the fish just falls away. It literally just comes away. And what did I say? No bones. I was lying. There's some bones, but they're only these big ones. You eat the skin. Spicy, juicy, lemony. Check out bits and pieces. 
for these sorts of things. There'll be cod wings on there sometimes, there'll be groper collars, there'll be snapper wings, sometimes groper cheeks or hapuka cheeks. If they're on there, buy them. You'll never look back. Fantastic, no waste.